Let's talk about the future of diabetes tech. Empty promises and why I named this bag Lisa. In the next coming years, we can expect some of the most innovative medical tech that we have ever seen. Three of these devices might even be launched this year alone. First, let's talk about the Airbetic. This product was recently displayed at CES 2020. It's a watch looking device that has specific air sensors built into it. These air sensors detect organic chemicals. The device will automatically alert you when your BG reaches levels outside of your desired range, all with a whiff of your diabetic breath. The Airbetic comes in a few different configurations and claims to be similar to having a diabetic service dog, which in fact, if they make one that looks like a dog, I'm probably gonna buy it. There's a Baby Yoda one. A lot of people would buy it. Next, we have an item called Secure. This thing is basically a new type of insulin delivery device. It's a patch capable of delivering up to three days worth of basal insulin, as well as on-demand rapid insulin doses. The device is comparable to the CGMs we have today, just a little bit bigger and a little bit wider. And last but absolutely not least, we have the Islet. And by far, this is one of the coolest devices I hope to see in 2020. The Islet is a biohormonal system that secretes both insulin and glucagon therapeutically. And as most of you may know, glucagon gives the opposite effect of insulin. So this device has the capability of not only bringing your sugar down, but also incrementally bringing it back up to a normal range. It consists of a weekly disposable CGM that reads BG every five minutes and tiny catheters connected to a pocket-sized pump that claim to carry a week's worth of medication. And though these companies might have amazing technology and really have your best interest in mind, there's also two really important things that they really want. Number one, they want your money. And number two, they want your brand loyalty. Now it's gonna be difficult to have those two things from you because some other company already has it. And really, what they have is your trust and trust is the key. What's a company really got to do to get us to toss aside everything we're already heavily invested in? And speaking to other diabetics, it's really as simple as three things. You got to be reliable, you got to be affordable, and you have to have good customer service. Let me expound. Nothing is worse to a salty diabetic than a product that doesn't work the way it's supposed to work. If you're selling a product that's supposed to help diabetics and it doesn't work, it could literally kill us or just make us really, really hate you. The second part is affordability. In 1983, a small company called Apple was attempting to make the world's best computer. This was a high-end personal computer with a graphic user interface for business consumers. It was called the Apple Lisa. This project took three years and $50 million to develop before the release. The computer's $9,995 price tag was equivalent to a $25,000 computer in today's number. And that price was just too high for the consumer, which ultimately led in the downfall of this amazing product. And lastly, customer service. One of my favorite quotes about customer service is this. There's only one boss, the customer, and he can fire everyone in the company from chairman on down simply by spending his money somewhere else. Sam Walton, the creator of Walmart and Sam's Club. And this is where the struggle lies. We have amazing technology already, way better than what we've had about five years ago. And it's taken a lot of time for me to trust the products that I already have invested in. 
And now I'm going to be making another leap as these new inventions and innovations start rolling out. And it's hard for us as consumers who have endured tons of empty promises to now invest in another bag of tricks. Someone's at my door. So what's the solution and really who's the hero in this story? Well, it's you, the innovators. We have been sold bags of empty promises in the past. And some of those devices were amazing and they significantly helped us. But this video was a bit of a challenge to you as innovators, because as these new products roll out, we really need you to be those three things, reliable, affordable, and to have good customer service. You need to listen to us. We really do want to trust you. And we hope that your product is as good as you say it is. Trust me, we do want cool gizmos and gadgets, but we don't. We really don't want to pay an arm and a leg for them. So don't be Lisa. And maybe your product really does make life easier. Maybe it lasts three days or three weeks like you say it does. But if it malfunctions, if the adhesive sucks, if the tubes clog or get snagged, or your electronic dog sniffer thing doesn't sniff the way it should, there has to be a reliable person on the other side of the phone when I call your 1-800 number and just perhaps wow me with empathy. But I have hope. I'm excited for this next wave of diabetic tech and I really hope that it makes our lives better because I and my diabetic friends hope and pray that in the middle of this bag of empty promises, we can find reliability, affordability, great customer service, and good health.